Mm -hmm. All right, I bet you're all sick of hearing about the coronavirus, but we've got some important updates that are going to impact the real estate and mortgage business, as well as the title business right now. So it's important you listen this week. My name is Barry Horvath, and this is Moving Forward TV with your local market update. And I am Dylan Gaston. Thank you so much for joining us today. And today's show is brought to you by Dynamic Title and Horvath Financial Services. Yay! For all your financial services needs. Very nice. Or title that. needs. Anyway. Anyway, we're going to do a really big show this week. We got a really lot big to show. cover. Are you like doing a it's, it's Lawrence almost, Welk? Yeah. No. It's, was it's, it no. <laughs> it's a really big show. Ed McMahon. Sorry. Yeah. Get it. Ed McMahon. Gotta have those lines. <laughs> Remember that really big? No, that was no, that was uh, Ed Sullivan. It, it was Ed Sullivan. I don't know. See how Ed old Sullivan. I am. I remember all of them. <laughs> yeah, they all kind of blend together. They do. And they, they kind of all look alike. And they were great guys. <laughs> they're all older. Yes. <laughs> or yes. gone. Yes. They're, yeah, I believe they're all gone now. Yeah, so it's it's different. Anyway, we've got some timely Speaking information. Of <laughs> and I know you're all sick about, you know, hearing about this, uh, the COVID-19. I don't know if people are sick about on. it. Well, or, you know, I think it's just disturbing. It's affecting all of us right now. Um, obviously, it's affecting the... A lot of us are hungering for more information on yeah. it, too, because it's changing our entire world. You know, like I said, talk about different. You know, this is unprecedented times. We have never been through anything As a like world. This. Yes. The entire world. You know, we used to say, oh, as a country, you know, the, the, you know, the real estate crash and everything. Right. As a country this, or as a country that, or this happened over here. That No, this is affecting the... This is global. You know what my mom was telling me this morning, and I was like to talk about my mom. Hi, Mom. I know she watches our show. So <laughs> Hi, she mom. was talking about back in the, was it 1918, the Spanish flu. Yes. And how they just couldn't even get the bodies out quick enough. Bodies were lined up everywhere. It was... How horrific. Yeah. How so, horrific. And she said to me, that she feels like this kind of rem, you know reminded her of that in in a time in history. So we're we're in a place right now we've never been, and right. you know the unknown I think is the fear of what can happen. You know I personally believe this will be short term because you know we're modern medicine is much better today mm -hmm. than it was. Technology and our way to communicate is much faster today, but. Make no mistake, this is going to affect the real estate business. And if you're home watching this and you're in real estate or you're a buyer, we're going to share some things with you this week that mm -hmm. will impact your business. So I think it's important that we all um, adhere to this. I mean, Delina and I sit here and I don't want to say we smoke this stuff all day long, but we kind of do. <laughs> Because, you know, we're, I mean, I'm on, I'm on conference call after conference call because we can't have face-to-face -face meetings anymore. And that's what I was going to say. I hope everyone's home watching this and not yeah, out and about somewhere. Let's yield the curve. But you know what? It does. I mean, you cannot possibly expect all this to be going on and not have it change what right. we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Needless so. to say, it's it's going to affect everything. It's going to affect every walk of life. And, you know, no person is exempt from this and no industry is exempt from this. Um, it's, you know, even the healthcare field, it's affecting, you know, yes, they're hiring nurses and things like that. Um, so it's not affecting them in a negative way, but from a health standpoint, it is, and, and it's a lot. So every single industry in the entire world is being affected by this right now. Um, even even Prince Charles tested positive. Did he really? Yes, he I did. Wow, wow. Yeah. Well, you know what I say? Expect the unexpected. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say because, um, you know, 
Those of you who are looking forward to a nice smooth closing, it may be bumpy. Right. And it's not just us, mm -mm. it's the entire industry. I want to make that clear. It's the entire industry right now. So We have well, been on conference calls and things like that with our corporate who has been on conference calls directly with Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, um, you know, top government housing officials. So this is the stuff that we're sharing with you that's coming down from the tippy tippy top. Yeah, you can say, well, my local bank won't have to deal with that. I promise yes, they will. you they will. So um, because there's so many layoffs right now, right. restaurants closing, anything right. in hospitality has really been affected by all this. So um, we'll get into you know some of the changes that are going to happen that may delay your closing. So um, first I want to give um, I want to give a little thing here from the West Pasco Board of Realtors. I feel like it's timely. Um, mm -hmm. It just came out today um, about some of the things they're doing to be proactive right now. Um, um, the first thing is uh, there's no longer an open person visits, meaning you can't just pop in the board. Yeah, can't so go to the board. if you're no. going to go to the West all, Pasco Board. All of the board, meetings have been, right, postponed or canceled, and, um, right, and the classes, they're doing them online now, which a lot of with schools and, and uh, colleges and the board, of course, is as well. As many online things as we can. You can't even go you get You can your, call them. <laughs> right. So call, give a call over to Lindsay or... or yeah, Sammy or Diana or anybody so over there. Please don't go to the Board of Realtors don't thinking you can just pop in. because They're not there. <laughs> um, they're trying to do their part as well. They're um, home too. Yeah. Working from home, they are. Yeah, they're trying to do this part. They're getting part. ready to do that. Let's flatten this curve. Yes. That's all I can say. Um, the other thing is um, that's important for you all to know. Uh, we are in an industry that is considered an essential business. Mm -hmm. So we will continue to be open and operate because during we're all this. Shelter. We, yes. We're telling people hunker down in your shelters, and if they don't have shelters, it makes right. it difficult. So if you're in the real estate world, and you know you are essential right and now. that would be so realtor would mortgage home inspection title people mm -hmm. anybody involved in doing the transaction so keep that in mind if there is a shutdown those businesses will still be allowed to operate right obviously a lot of them will be going you know doing it from home or mm -hmm. remotely so i know even our office we're doing our part you know we have minimal um, team in place right now but we are fully operational. We're all scattered, but we, can, we work separately together. So it's kind of, you know, it's, it's different. Okay. It's working. It's different. I, I guess you could uh, call it a new normal. So anyway. Um, discouraging um, open houses. Yeah. So, you know, right now, um, we, you know, we love... For a while it was as long as you didn't have more than 10 people, including yourself, in the open house. Now they're saying, yeah, we'd rather you not do them at all. So you guys know that as well. You know, not for nothing, if I was a seller right now, I wouldn't want strangers coming walking through my house. It's a little too scary right yeah, now. So, yeah. so um, suggested no open houses right now. Let's try um, and adhere to these things. Yeah, and if you know what, if you get on our rate plug system or anybody else's in the industry, we can create a flyer with payments. You can get them out to people. You can do the virtual tours. Um, I know a lot of great photographers that would be happy to go in and right. help you do a. I think right now more than ever, it's important to have great photos. So those of you who think you can do it, um, and video is critical. And, I, and you know what? And I know there's a lot of um, uh, realtors out there, old, old-fashioned, you know, still like, you know, the face-to-face -face and things like that. And I am, too, doing this 100 years. So I absolutely love the face-to-face -face and everything, amazing. too. How do you do it, Delaney? I know. For 100 <laughs> years old. Um, but you know what? We can't. We, if, if you haven't already, now is the time to embrace technology. Yes. You know, do, do your Facebook Live from your house. Do videos of, of the home that you're trying to sell things like that now is the time to jump in if you haven't already you know learn it now you know what the most popular website is right now what zoom everybody's zoom. going to zoom i love zoom i yeah. just did my bible study last night yeah. on zoom it was awesome yep it's pretty Worked cool out great pretty it was cool. very very cool so embrace technology you know so let's talk about some of the things that are really going to affect your business um from the, the lending standpoint from the mortgage standpoint so some of the things that are really big right now is uh um, Fannie, Freddie, everybody 
nationwide and it's going to adhere to these guidelines. So um, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that we, as a lender, are not going to schedule any closings before 11 a.m. And I think if you do schedule a closing before 11 a.m., you can write this down. You're going to be sitting there till the afternoon. It's just, right. I don't care what time you schedule it. Um, don't make, you know, and, and right now even at closings, it's suggested that only necessary parties attend that closing. Yes. We There's some title companies, honestly, who won't even let, if you show up as the realtor, they won't even let you in. I had that happen the other day. The realtor had to sit out in the car. Actually, that title company, they even made the buyer sit out in the car, and they brought the documents out to them right. to sign in their car. So it, it's... Everyone is trying to be extra cautious, and I totally get that I get and understand it. that. I get it. So from the lending standpoint, so there's a couple of things that we are going to be looking for. And again, it's not just we, the mortgage firm. It is absolutely every single lender out there. We're following Fannie and Freddie so guidelines. I think the big thing that and why there may be delays, like we were always famous, like, you know, we closed and boom, we funded. I know. But now a verification, and I'm sure you can all understand why, of employment, that you're, you're jumping ahead. He's jumping I, ahead. I'm that's just, okay. I'm always about, I want to give him the meat right now, Delaney. I have this all in order. <laughs> He's all right, you jumping do it in the like order five you want. pages ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You tell him the way you want to All right. It. So first of all, let's start with the letter. So um, we are going to need a couple of extra things. So it, especially if it's a restaurant or something like that that has recently closed down or maybe somebody who has cut back on hours, things like that, um, they're going to need some kind of a letter saying that we're temporarily closed and we are planning on coming back to work on, you know, April 19th or something like that, whatever the date might be. Um, the letter should have, obviously, the um, borrower's name, um, what their position is, the date that they're planning on coming back, and if they are going to continue while they're out to receive their regular salary. Um, on servers, waiters, waitresses, things like that, you know, they get a small hourly uh, rate and mostly tips, so we need to know, is it just going to be the hourly, or are they doing some sort of a percentage or something like that? And then the other real important thing, and then I'll let you get into your, no. your verifications. No, don't worry about me, I'm fine. <laughs> the other important thing... <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, I heard a good one. i got to tell you in a minute. Um, the other important thing is reserves. So we might be looking for, uh, depending upon the strength of the file, we might be looking for reserves. We might, especially if they have been cut back on hours or something like that, then perhaps we're going to want to make sure that they have like two months of reserves built into their savings account somewhere that we're not using for closing so that they have a cushion to lean back on. So that might be some of the stuff that they're going to be looking at, important stuff there. And you know what? I mean, literally, a file right now, all the lenders are looking to protect themselves. A file yes. could be pulled from the closing table. At if, any minute. Yeah, because it's unstable out there right now, which if you all think about it, people have pulled out of the stock market and bonds. Yes. There's not a ton of money coming in right now for those for, for loans to be funded. So it would only make sense for trying to protect the industry. And we want to be here long term. And I know all of you want to be here long term as well. So I hope you can understand why we've put, you know, these guidelines are coming in place from way up above. We're so Yeah, we don't want what, you know, the the dead stop that the real estate world came to in, you know, 2009. 2009. We don't want that to happen no, again. No, um, we need to be Different smart. circumstances, but we don't want that to happen we, again. We need to know so that the borrower ourselves. can repay that loan. Right. So if they're going to be out of work for some time, um, it's going to come up. And even self-employed uh, borrowers right now, if they own a restaurant, right. if they own a hotel, there's, you know, there could be consideration of income may not mm -hmm. be consistent right now with right. everything going on. And who knows, you know, I believe this to be short term, but it could so that so that brings up what you were started to talk about. We're gonna we're gonna put this one aside for right now. Fine. Gonna, I'm putting him in order. Fine. <laughs> here, go to go to here. The verifications. <laughs> so at your closing table right now, you're going to see the verifications are gonna have to happen. Right, right. You know, used to be you did them early. And well, and we still do, so that you know, we're yeah. still doing them. We have to, we have to, by law, do them uh, ten days prior to closing. We would have to do what's called a, a verbal verification of employment. Call up, make sure that they still work there. Yep, we write down the person's name, the contact person, HR, whoever it is that we spoke to. Now, not only do we have to do that, but we also have to do it day of closing. Day of closing. And, it's, and when you say we, you mean 
the entire industry. The entire industry. It's not again, just the mortgage firm. And, it is every single lender and, in the country. And again, why we're telling you do not schedule a closing before 11 a.m. And start putting a little bit more time on things because here's what we're, we're seeing could potentially happen. As you guys are all sitting there at home working from home, so are a lot of companies. So are like an HR department. They're working from home as well. Um, processors, everybody is working from home. So if we have, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Smith and they're closing on Friday. I know them. You know, <laughs> so Friday nice morning. People. Very nice people. Our closing department needs to get on the phone with Mr. and Mrs. Smith's HR department to make sure that they still work there um, and get a verbal verification of employment. In addition to that, there's a couple of other things. It's not just the verbal verification anymore that we need, but we will also need their most recent pay stub. So if they get paid every other week, you know, usually as long as we have the pay stub through underwriting, we're good. Now we need the most recent pay stub to make sure the the pay stub that was closest to the closing date, most recent to the closing date, we have to have that pay stub. Or we have to see in, in their bank statement their direct deposit going in or something. We have to verify they are still getting the income that we qualified them with. Can I summarize that? Yes. Okay. You might have a slowdown in your closing. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at <laughs> because of the expect, extra things we need to do. Expect delays. I know that's a lot of detail that many of you don't even care, but we want you to understand Sorry. why it's yes. what's going on right now, what the extra layers of protection are. I'm sorry. From the lending I'm very industry. detailed. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm sorry. like, I'm like, what's gonna, what does that mean, Delay? <laughs> Slow down. And and let's not do 30 days on contracts anymore. That's probably appraisers. There are some appraisers who have said they're not going out anymore. There's some home inspectors who say they're not going out anymore. And with people working from home now, things are taking a little bit longer yes. to get done. So don't do 30 day contracts uh, anymore. Our people anyway are suggesting at least 45 to 45 60. 45 to 60. And I'm going to tell you on the refi boom, which is here, 60, which is here this morning, gone this afternoon. Yes. You know the way the rates, the rates are going. Are crazy. Um, yeah, 60 days. Um, in fact, Come in. some some. <laughs> Who is it? Uh, People upstairs moment, are knocking. Yeah, they want to come in. <laughs> Apparently, we're getting a new roof put on. They want to hear too. <laughs> and they're right above our heads. I know that's. They, can you tell how well scripted we are? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Anyway, um, sixty day locks on refis. A lot of the big lenders out there right now are saying because of the volatility of the market. They won't even lock your loan until it's basically clear to close. Right. Because they don't want to tie up. The, it's a it's a risk right now. Right. Because um, you're locking a loan, and if you because don't close. Because of the market, and that's a whole nother show. <laughs> and rates are all over the place. So yeah. You guys have seen what's happened in the stock market and the bond market. It's it's driving the mortgage to, rates up and, and down, up and, and down, up and down. And anybody that's going to ask me a rate, I'm going to tell you it's two. So yesterday he said to me, <laughs> so so what are rates doing these days? And I just looked at them and I went, I know. they're two, yeah. okay? <laughs> they're not. They're not. <laughs> yeah, they're know. not, but we like to make fun of people because they say they're two. <laughs> Actually, they were zero last week, remember? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, I heard yes. they're zero percent mortgage And I think I addressed that last week. They're yeah, not zero. Mortgage rates are not zero. No, they're not. No. So anyway, um, expect delays. Um, and because the turn times, then the volume, and like Delin says, people working from home is going to slow things right. down. Although people can focus better sometimes from home. Some people can't. I know. But um, your, your underwriting turn times are going to be longer. It's just, it's reality. Exactly. It just, it's just the way it is. Yep. Um, it, a lot of um, people have, you know, stay at home um, or rather working from home. Now they have, their children are at home as well. So, you know, any, any time it's, it's, it's a different time for all of us. But let's talk about some of the uh, more positive things. There's that, positive going on? Well, there are some things that, that, again, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are trying to work with everyone and getting things through as quickly as we can, knowing full well that we have some of the roadblocks that we have in front of us. So one of the things that is happening is um, there's something called an appraisal waiver, uh, which every once in a while, wave, everybody wave to the appraiser. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> no, it's not that. I see. Bye bye. <laughs> but um, every once in a while, uh, on a file, when we run it through the automated system, it will come back and it will say, "Oh, okay, you know, the property is, you know, they're buying it for this much. The loan is this much. Yeah, we agree with that value, and we don't need an appraisal." Well, how cool is that? It doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen periodically. So um, Fannie and Freddie are going to loosen up the guidelines on that a little bit, and even even more important, even if it we don't get an appraisal waiver, one of the things that they're going to start doing now is accepting what we used to call in the day drive-bys, if anybody's been around for that long, which is basically an exterior only. So again, they're trying, the to, aid. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to limit the the face-to-face, -face, right, as much face-to-face -face as we can. So if the appraiser can just do an exterior only, so, you know, get out, walk so around the, the property. So the realtor doesn't have to meet them at the house? No, they're not going inside the house at all because they don't know, you know, it's putting an appraiser at risk. They don't right. know if the person who's selling that house is sick or not. You know, you just don't know. Yes. Or are we taking an elderly couple out of their house and putting them... The rats are getting bigger. Someplace. <laughs> we could be taking an elderly couple who's selling the house out and putting them into elements that, that could be detrimental to their health. So again, they're going to start doing on certain appraisals, you know, obviously on investment properties, things like that. It's going to vary if it's an investment property, a second home, a primary residence, a cash out refinance, or rate and term refinance, depending upon the loan term. So hopefully that will not only speed up the appraisals getting done, but it will also um, be a lot safer for the homeowner, the realtor, um, and the appraiser. Yep, I So agree. I think that's pretty cool. News. I haven't seen a drive by. You know, someone asked me though, is it going to be less expensive? Expensive. Uh, my gut says no. It's going to be the same. Yeah, price. I think it's they probably going to be the same. Do, they're just not doing interior inspections. Is the bottom right. line. So you don't have to clean up the dirty dishes anymore, folks. It That's is still. It news. is more like that, and it's still the same amount of work that the appraiser has to do. To to be perfectly honest with you, so you know, they because all of the a lot of the work is in the research, going into the research of the comparables and things sure. like that. Sure. But and if then we can get typing waivers, it up. So the system's going to know. You're not right. over inflating the value. If it's there, it'll come through. We're right. going to We're seeing a lot on the rate and term refis right now. We are actually. Yeah. We are. So we're seeing a lot that's of appraisal a waivers, which saves the and actually money. on two recent purchases, I have appraisal waivers right now. Yeah, you got to It's love usually that. when people are putting down, you know, a, a pretty good side. They might be putting down maybe thirty percent or something. I'm getting appraisal waivers on those, so that's been very nice. So and, um, you realtors are wondering where's we'll my appraisal? More. Things are falling down now. Um, you're looking for the appraisal. You know, uh, we do the up the status updates, and it lets people know what's going on on the appraisal. So you may not even need it. That's pretty awesome, though. All right, let's talk about these um, these the other COVID methods. forms. Yeah. So this is. Do you need one? Because no, I have an I, extra. <laughs> no. I have an no, extra. No, there's a few. There's a few. I know. The COVID form. So it's just again. It, I don't want to reiterate it, but it was. Yes, you do. It, no, I don't, because I really want to get to Ron. <laughs> Ron. Um, Ron's it, not it's here. really just the extra questions that we have to ask. Um, you know, ha, when we are doing the verifications of employment, you know, are are they planning on shutting down? Are they planning on having shorter um, hours? Things like that. So it's all part of that. Final so verification yes, that exactly. needs to be done That's basically yours. at closing. So. so back to so so now I wanted to talk about Ron and I want to. Um, Lynn, hold on. Ron, what well, I keep on waving to people who I walk know. in. Huh? Who is Ron? Who is Ron? I don't think everybody knows who Ron is. I think it's remember our longtime friend. I know friend? our longtime friend Ron, Ron who yeah. used to co-host with yeah, me. Yeah, that's that's not the same. Many Ron. years ago, not the same Ron. So, <laughs> Ron, would you like to tell people what Ron is? No. No. I don't remember. <laughs> this is remote online Ron. notarization. So that is also known as RON. So it's funny, we we're talking about drive by appraisals. Well, I actually had a, we were joking around, and, and it was this one title company yesterday was saying they would only do a drive through. Uh, drive through closing, and yeah. Barry was saying to me, "What did they do? Buy a Wendy's or yeah. something?" <laughs> they pull up to the window. But, but that's the one that they actually did it in the car. They wouldn't let the people come into the building, that's and the, they did it. They brought the papers out. So that's what they call it. But but I guess by accident on on uh, on the phone to the realtor, I was calling it a drive by closing. So no, it's not a drive by closing. Not, but but. Well, that's um, not appropriate, probably. That's but bad. remote notarization. So what remote? So. 
uh, the state of Florida passed in June of 2019 that we can actually start accepting um, remote notarization. So as long as the notary is in the state of Florida, it can be done electronically through Zoom or something right. like that. All you and need is certain, a smartphone and there's certain or forms, a webcam. And there's certain forms that are required and right. such, and I identification, of course. Now, so the state of Florida passed that in June of 2019. However, it went into effect January of this year. So it just went into effect in January. Now, now keep in mind, Delay. it's new to yes. the entire industry. Because a lot of lenders don't even recognize it right. yet, and they're trying to get it through. Some do, some don't. A lot of title companies, like they're in a tailspin trying to get this in place that right. they can do it. Um, depending on their underwriter, the underwriter in a title business and that's what I was going to say. Things to you know, they have to have approvals too, and right. that process in So place. it's not that simple. So so yes, it is something that lenders are looking into. We're certainly looking into to and setting it up, but it has to do with not only the lender but the title company, and then the title company's title insurer, who they go through for the insurance. So there's a lot of moving parts that have to happen. We are on on track and definitely looking into more. Um, putting it into our repertoire as well of things that we can now offer. Again, as a nation, we're all just trying to limit the face-to-face -to, -face to keep everybody as safe and healthy as we can, and this is um, one of the ways that we're looking to do that as well. You know what? It's actually going to probably change our industry as we know it mm -hmm. because I think going forward, even though these things are being forced into place now, it'll become the new normal. Yeah. People will love to sit. Wouldn't you love to be at your dining room table on a video and just be able to I know. sign something I did go and remotely? On, I did go online, though, and I researched with Fannie and Freddie. And at this point, Fannie and Freddie are saying as long as your state accepts it. However, none of them are accepting the note. The actual the note, note you still, still has to be. The original ink on that note. Correct. Yeah. So there's definitely going to still be some things that are not electronic. That'll um, be wet signed. That'll be wet oh. signed and those are probably going to be the drive throughs <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> drive through closings. Yeah, but the rest, you know what, one of the things uh, you know that we have is pe people e-sign most of our documents ahead of time anyway. So right. the packets are very small at closing. So you know what, the industry is changing. We're being forced into this mode, sadly, right now. Um, but I think some of these things will really stay in place today. So, you know. uh, it, which would make the life a lot easier anyway for sure. everyone. You know, sure. I, I definitely think so. Once we get past the scare, so. That being said, that's kind of all we had, huh? Yeah. So um, obviously, right now, our lunch and learns and our happy hours that we do are being postponed. Um, on hold for the moment. Yeah, for the moment, but we will be in touch with you once we resume those. I'm actually sad about that. Maybe we can figure out a way to do that. Um, but Maybe we can all Zoom. We'll yeah. all, like, you know, I don't know, pick up lunch. Everybody pick up a pub sub or something, and we'll all eat together yeah. online. Because yeah, <laughs> I know people are hungry for information and, I know. and education. And now, you know, with the board being shut down, you can't go there anymore for classes. You can't go to your favorite local know, restaurant. And, and, and you know, our, our realtor partners out there as well as us, you know, we're kind of social people, right? We love getting out in the community and connecting yeah. and talking and hugging and, you know, getting yeah, together. Like, hey, Delenn, and this is, I, I mean, know. I'm not even allowed to six, high five you. I know. Anymore. Six feet away. Yeah, we're high measured. Five. <laughs> we're six feet away right now. So, anyway. So. I don't know. It's it's a little weird, but we'll we'll all get through this together. It's it's globally affected. And you know what, guys? We're going to come out stronger on the other side yes, like we, we always will. do. Yes, we so. will. So. You know what? Great show. Great information. Thank you all for don't watching. Yeah, don't forget to uh, support our sponsors out there. Definitely, right. Support our sponsors and share us, especially being the information we can't get together anymore. Share this. Get it out there electronically through and, Facebook and, and this Twitter week, and all that stuff. This week's sponsors are Dynamic Title and Horvath Financial Services. Thank you to both of them. Thank you. So have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next week. Thank you, everyone. We are today and every day. Moving forward. See you next week. Bye-bye.